What's up, Girl Scouts? My name is Duke, and I'm the Camp Program Manager here at the STEM Center of Excellence with Girl Scouts of Northeast Texas. And I'm actually standing here today at the STEM Center in the Program Center, the Hogland Foundation Program Center. So before we get started today, I wanna to make sure that you bring a few things to our Brownie Bugs Badge Part Two of five. We want to make sure that you have some craft supplies. And I know that you're thinking, but what if I haven't had time to go to the craft store? That's okay. We use resources wisely as Girl Scouts. And so I think there are lots of things that you can find in and around your home that will be useful to you as you continue to do your bug craft. And if you think about specific bugs that you would like to do or insects or arachnids or lepidopteras, all kinds of stuff, you can find anything that works for you at your house. So I'm gonna show you just a few of the things that I've got. So you wanna make sure that you get an adult. Why do I need an adult? Well, you need an adult to make sure that, again, we use our resources wisely. So as we get onto different websites, as we get through different books, or talk to other humans that are entomologists, which we'll find out about that term here in just a little bit, that we are making sure that we are using our internet resources wisely, that we get the right books, and we're talking to the right people before we get started, we've got to say the Girl Scout promise and law. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times and to live by the Girl Scout law. The Girl Scout law, I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong responsible for what I say and do, to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. There are two approaches when you go to get craft supplies and it can be really overwhelming. You can either think about your insect or your arachnid and gather supplies that you think will help you make that particular being, or you can get all the supplies you've got and then figure out what you can make from that. I chose to go from the first route and think about what I wanted to make. So a dragonfly and a damselfly worked really well for me, so I got a few extra items you see here. While I have quite a few supplies out here, I really had to think about what kind of bug I wanted to craft today, and I want you to do the same. So I started thinking about some of my favorite insects, and one of my favorite insects are dragonflies and damselflies. Wait, what's a damselfly? Well, I'm gonna show you here in just a second. So I have two different crafts that I am choosing to do, but you are more than welcome to choose uh, butterflies, beetles, grasshoppers, grub worms, like whatever you need to do as part of the insect world. If you wanna do an arachnid, then do a scorpion or do a spider. There are so many choices out there. I want you to find an insect or an arachnid that speaks to you, and I want you to research about it and do your best to make it happen in an artistic form. So I tried one of two things. Number one, I'm gonna show you, uh, I did an origami tutorial because I wanted to try something a little bit more complicated. So this is my origami dragonfly. And as you can see, um, it's not perfect. <laughs> Actually, it took me quite a while to kind of figure it out. It was a fairly simple tutorial, but because I'm fairly new to origami, I was trying it a lot for the first time, and I was pretty happy with how it turned out, knowing that it was the first time. One of the things that you'll notice as you do the origami video for the dragonfly is that they ask you to come up with a square piece of paper. Now, I don't have a square piece of paper. I have a rectangular piece of paper, but I know how to make it a square because a square has four even sides. So what I am going to do is I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to make some marks and then cut it. So I can see my mark. And I'm going to put six inches here as well. You know what, I'm gonna help myself out and on the other side, I'm going to do six inches here. Just a little tiny bit. 
and the same thing on the end at the bottom. And you'll see why I'm doing all four edges here. Six and six. All right, I have drawn my lines and now you can see I actually have three different pieces of paper that I can use. I have two squares so I can do two different pieces of origami and then have a rectangle that I can use for another craft at a later time. Because we are Girl Scouts and we use resources wisely, we can keep that piece of paper for other crafts or if there's someone who would like to use it for their bug craft, feel free. I actually used math to help me complete this craft. So that is part of the essence of steam. So this is my dragonfly craft origami. Here on my dragonfly, you've got the head, you've got the thorax, which is where the wings and legs would have connected. It has segmented legs that would come down from here. And then you have the abdomen. Again, for us, our abdomen is on our stomachs, but for insects, it's usually a little bit further back. So we have the head, we have the thorax, and then we have the abdomen. And so the wings, they have uh, two different wings. They have a fore wing, which is the one in the front, and then they have a hind wing. And sad sauce, this one just, it just didn't make it. I didn't tear it the right way whenever I needed to. In the front, they have two eyes. The other one is a damselfly and damselflies are blue. So I found this really gorgeous blue pipe cleaner. Dragonflies are fairly big, the damselflies are very small. So I'm gonna do a time lapse on this and get you up to speed on what I'm doing. So one of the things I'm gonna do is to make the wings kind of see-through, I am gonna take some tape. I'm gonna put tape together and create wings. I'll show you my finished project here in just a second. And we'll talk about some of the different parts on the damselfly. Come back soon. Okay. I am ready to show you my bug craft. So while I did first the origami dragonfly, and we talked about some of the different parts there, I have a damselfly. So this insect is Zygoptera, okay? Zygoptera, the damselfly. And yes, damselflies, while they might not have this green, do have a gorgeous, gorgeous blue to them. And that's one of the reasons why I love them so much. They are so pretty and they're very delicate. This would actually be very large for a damselfly. So they're actually a lot smaller than this. So what I have here on the damselfly is I have the head, I have the thorax here in the middle, and then I have the abdomen on the end. So just like we talked about earlier, the abdomen on us is on the middle, but on this particular insect, it's a little bit further back. We have the forewing, which is the front wing, and we have the hind wing, H-I-N-D, hind wing. So the forewing is in the front and the hind wing is in the back. One of the differences between the damselfly and the dragonfly are the compound eyes. So the eyes on a dragonfly are very large and close together at the front of the head. On a damselfly, they are a little bit further apart and a little bit smaller, smaller and further apart. And they do have sometimes a little bit of a green quality to them. So that's why I chose the green pipe cleaner because that's one of the things I kind of remember. So they're more blue and black. And if I'd had a black pipe cleaner, I think that's what I would have used for the legs <laughs> instead of the green. But you know what? I wanted to use resources wisely. So I have what I have and I'm using what I'm using. That is it for today. So make sure that you stay tuned for part three of five on our next Brownie Bugs badge. And before I go, I have to clean up my mess because we always leave it better than we found it. I am gonna make sure that I leave no trace. Thanks for stopping in and we'll see you soon.
Now I wanted to make sure I got a shot of my awesome t-shirt. You can actually get this from the Girl Scout shop. So if you are interested in this t-shirt design and you love it, uh, my mom is a science teacher and she is all about this design. So she knows what she's getting this year for Mother's Day. Sorry, mom, I spoiled that. But anyway, check out all of our great selections. Yes, I'm wearing sunglasses inside.